Goals, miss, penalties, overturned penalties, far drama, and Storm Jocelyn just flung in there to create even more chaos. Welcome back to Fog Football. What a game it was at Tyne Castle. Crazy, crazy match. And it's like, yeah, that's how you welcome back the league football in Scotland. Hopefully tomorrow is just as good with Rangers taking on Hibs and, of course, Aberdeen travelling to St Johnston. Yeah, what a game of football. And I tell you what, I was so impressed with Aber uh, Aberdeen. <laughs> not a chance, not them. Undie in this game, you know, so impressed with him. Honestly, I thought for like... Until Hearts got the first goal back, I thought Dundee were absolutely outstanding. I thought they absolutely played Hearts off the park. Not many people seen it coming. Hearts were eight to eleven to win this game, though, which which I thought was a good punt. Now I didn't actually bet them themselves because <laughs> who'd be betting Hearts on a Tuesday? Probably a lot of people out there betting Hearts tonight. I think, I think eight to eleven for Hearts, by the way, is actually a phenomenal, phenomenal price. I cannot fault it. I tell you what, you cannot fault the opening goal in this game it was an absolute peach it was even enough start to be fair I think Dundee just got better as soon as the start but Jordan McGee what a finish this was to make it 1-0 to Dundee and you know the press the press by Dundee I thought in the midfield they were just smoking hearts well, maybe they shouldn't have got rid of uh, Alex Lowry and Andy Halliday maybe they wouldn't have got smoked in those midfield areas <laughs> Maybe not, but uh, the reality is they did, and they've got to deal with that big issue, um, so to speak. And Hearts, they were, the players were brought in like flies. There was like three on four subs in this game for Hearts. At least three, I am. Unless, <laughs> unless I can't count up to four or something. Absolutely incredible. But yeah, they're smoking them in the midfield. Hearts just didn't really aren't getting a second on the ball. And Lyle Cameron, fantastic form he's in. He makes it 2-0. It's half time. What are Hearts going to do? It's absolutely bang, bang, good night. The <laughs> They're flabbergasted. And like, if they won this game, Hearts, right? You're thinking at this point, you're 2-0 down. You, you, it's done. It's done and dusted. I thought at this point that Hearts were getting absolutely nada from this game at halftime. But Stephen A. Smith must have got stuck into him. And they mount it some form of comeback. But as I say, we go into the second half. I thought Dundee were still pretty good at the start of the second half, right? But then, against the run of form, we had... Nguyenhoff, Nguyenhoff, I believe, they are, is he Australian or New Zealand? I can't quite remember, but you know, it kind of came out of nowhere, in the rain, in the wind, great finish here, it was pretty much straight after the injury to Benjamin. and I remember, what game was it? I can't remember, it was, I remember it was a hot, it was during the Embra Derby, right? And was it someone on the Rangers rabble? Someone said, right, that Rangers should sign this guy, and you know what, I, I rate the guy, but he's never fit and he's always injured, then I, then I thought, hold on here. That would suit Rangers like a fucking glove. <laughs> Some guy that's actually good but never fit, never able to play. And you know what? Maybe that would work. But he's, he, that's him sadly injured. Uh, Shaughnessy gives away a penalty like a wee nugget. Lauren Shanklin steps up. And then he thought, shite, got to keep those zeros down or else Rangers are not going to be able to get me. Good save for Trevor Carson, but you would expect him to make it where it was, in my personal opinion. Curtis May then comes on for Dundee. Oda comes on for Hearts. Will he get a say in this? Potentially. But then Hearts make it two each. Will Lembagiska? Lem Lembagiska? Lembagisi? Lembagisa? 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 Him, they make it two each with him. Dundee then go down the other end. They get a penalty over turned, it's incredible scenes, rightfully overturned, absolutely had to be overturned, and then we go into the dying embers of this game, 86th minute, the big man, Alan Forrest, who's already got two, well one assist his name at this point, he finds Oda, and Oda, like Yoda, the force is with you son, and he puts it into the back of the net, hearts, make it 3-2, and it's like at this point, you just need to get your breath back, what a game! But there's no time to get your breath back because there's eight minutes added on. It's like, holy shit, this game's not going to end. Then Hearts put the ball in the back of the net again. Was disallowed. Correct decision. But half a yard offside here. Alan Forrest could have added a goal to his lovely two assists. But he didn't. And, you know, Hearts, they went on to win this game. Crazy. Absolutely crazy here. What, what a game. What an absolute comeback for Hearts. You know, Dundee... Will be bitterly disappointed to lose after being 3 2. Or what? I wish we were 3 2. Well, 2 0 is better than 3 2 up, I guess. But yeah, what a second half turnaround for Hearts. You know, 
disallowed goal for them and a missed penalty and they still scored three goals the other side of them so terrible incredible incredible but anyway guys leave your thoughts down below make sure you check out the Air United game as well that we'll review on the channel Scott Brown looks like he's got off to a pretty good wee wee result there so aye till next time leave your thoughts down below and scooby doo foot